Hello everyone, welcome back to something of everything. In the previous three videos of this playlist, we have seen footing module, column module and shear wall module of Draftwin software. In this video we will learn about combined wall module. The prerequisites are, the ETEPS model must have been opened, analyzed, concrete and uh, shear wall design has to be completed. To start the combined wall module in Draftwin software, press on it and in the file press on CW API to read the data from the ETEPS file. It will read all the shear wall data as well as all the prerequisites for the same from ETEPS model that is being opened. Make sure that only one model has been opened. The structure being used is two basement ground plus 14 storey structure in which there are four lift walls that is P13 ABC P15 ABC, P73 ABC and P74 ABC. We will be using these four shear walls to detail out in combined way. Once the data will be read, it will open the detailing preferences dialog box and you can see all the level layouts at all the levels. It may take some time because there are very large number of shear walls. You can select the preferences from here or just press OK. Select the materials and press OK and it will show you the shear walls. And the shear walls that can be detailed as combined shear walls will be seen as a red one, light red one. In the operations, go to the detailing preferences, check out the ductile. You can create the boundary zones and set the rules for the same. You can provide the links in the mid zone or you can remove them. All these options has been clarified in column as well as shear wall models. You can level group the shear walls as well. You can change the rebar syntax as per your drafting practice. Press OK and just press Run to detail out the shear walls. As you can see, it has detailed out 13, 74, 73 and 15. No other shear walls has been detailed out in combined shear walls. You can change the uh, steel from here, this window. You can see the data of the shear walls requirement and provided reinforcement. You can export the drawing once the detailing has been completed. All you need is a CAD drawing in which you can interpret the data faster. As you can see, all the command shear wall has been detailed out. As you can see, the zone has been created at the end and the stirrups has been provided for each and every joint as well as shear walls. It shows you the concrete grade and steel grade. Yeah, in this it will not show you the reinforcement requirement as it just provides you the details out. Some at some point of time you will have to rearrange the reinforcement because the junctions are being like that. So you can use this drawing to detail out the shear wall junctions as well as shear walls you have to go to detailing preferences to change the zone or the preferred zone and you can change the zones here for each and every wall out there this is the zone length required as per ETEPS and you will have to change it as per your preferences this way you can get the results of combined shear walls in Draftwin module. Thank you for watching this video. Do like, share and subscribe to the subscribe the same. If you have any query or you want to buy the software, just contact us at the WhatsApp number given in the description box. Thank you.